What's up guys, Perfection here. So, <clears throat> today I'm jumping into Mobile Strike. I've played probably, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. And I'm at Stronghold 10. I did pick up one pack. I got the little $5 entry pack, which gave me... And make sure if you're going to do this, get the one that gives you... They gave me quite a bit of construction gear. And so like construction time minus two hours... Minus one hour, same thing there, and then uh, minus two hours there. So basically, all my construction, apart from resources, is free as far as time goes up until it just started actually costing me some time. So let's see, I've got to go to 10 on this, so hit upgrade in two hours, so that's at 10. And I believe the iron mine is the longest one. Yeah, so an hour and 31 minutes. So that little $5 pack got me to Hero 37, VIP 8, 300,000 power. And, and my power is all hero power. I don't have any troops. So I may have like 20, yeah, the initial troops that it makes you train in the beginning. But I'm basically going to get rid of those. So, basically, I come from I come from Game of War, and a lot of you guys already know that. And and I play a solo and a rally trap in Game of War. Then I switch to playing a rally lead, and then I quit Game of War. Now I'm playing Mobile Strike because essentially this is Game of War all over again, but it's back in the fun part of Game of War. It's you know Game of War hasn't always been bad. It's just recently the just the constant releases of new things made it unbearable to continue playing. I mean, you had to spend so much money to even compete. I mean, even as a trap. So, Game of War back in its heyday, this is pre-core, pre-everything. So, I I have a lot of fun, and, and you can make a trap account for next to nothing and be successful in this game. Well, I'm, I'm under the impression you can be successful in this game. Based on what I'm seeing... The people that were good traps in Game of War back when it was back in its prime would be really good traps here because it's essentially goes back to you know those basic gears. There's no gear sets yet that I can tell. Um, you look in here, at manufacture. Now they do have one core set that they've released, which is called Prototype Gear, and. And of course, I can't craft any of it, but it's not like core sets but in Game of War. They're not super strong. You can still get by with basic defense gear. And now, I don't foresee myself grabbing this, but there is a pack. So I bought the one $5 pack, and that's it. I haven't bought anything else. And then there is... Oh, this pack menu is laggy. This Join the Club pack right here. Yeah, so it's got some pretty good stuff in it. I mean, it's got quite a bit of gold. It's got 300k VIP points, which is you know 10 of them, so 3 million VIP points. It's got one, what is that, 1.5 billion XP. So essentially, I think this would get pretty close to max uh, commander level and and uh, quite a quite pretty far into VIP. I'm going to assume that you have to use these tokens for VIP prestige. I'm not sure exactly how they work. You probably have to fill up the bar and then use the token. Um, when I get to that point, I'll keep you guys posted on that. But like right here, look at all this gear. And I've looked up this gear and some of this is pretty good. Like this uh, this uh, dismantle accessory, it's pretty solid for trap style gear. It's got attack on it. It's got defense and it's got health on it. So pretty solid but essentially this account will be a trap a solo trap i haven't i'm still debating on whether i'm going to take it to stronghold 14 and stop there or if i'm going to take it all the way to stronghold 21 i'm not fully sure on how i'm going to do that yet but obviously getting my commander level up is my first priority because the skills again if you played game of war it's the same thing i mean literally the same exact thing.
There are no differences. Okay, now this says it has level 55, so I'm going to assume that level 60 or 55 is in the game. I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's kind of useless for, for what we're doing. Um, troop health, I mean, that's all, that's all pretty standard. So, that being said, um, I'm not going to disclose how I build everything up as far as stats and until until I test it and make sure it's successful and then I'll give some information of course not all of it but the best I can um, but for now I'm going to continue upgrading buildings and you know, dive into mobile strike I mean it seems pretty solid game to me and it's a uh, very responsive way less laggy than game of war so maybe they upgraded from potatoes to something else I don't know but uh other than that, this is just kind of my intro into Mobile Strike, and this is going to be what I'm doing my trap videos on now. Uh, the concepts will still apply to Game of War viewers, but just scaled way back. And other than that, you know, like, subscribe, share. Got a lot more videos coming, and I look forward to seeing you guys.